This is John Robbins. In this session, we'll be backing up a typical I-Series control. For those of you in the training class, please follow along on your simulators. FANUC provides several ways to do this backup. I'm going to start with the most common method, using a flashcard to make individual backups. This will work on almost all of the I-Series controls and is very similar to the older models that use RS-232. The nice part about the flashcard is that there aren't many settings to be concerned with. On your machines, the flashcard will be plugged into this slot. Some older machines had limitations on the size of the flashcard that could be used. The Model A controls did not play well with the compact flash adapters. There are multiple files that can be backed up. We're going to concentrate on those that you will need to recover the machine. These will include CNC parameters, offsets, macros, and PMC data along with part programs. The first thing we need to do is to tell the control where we're going to save the information to. Place your machines in MDI mode. Go to the Offset Settings button. Next you will press the Settings Soft key. The settings page is a collection of parameters that you can change without turning on parameter right enable. Using the arrow keys, navigate down to I.O. channel. Set this to a value of 4. A setting of 4 will point to the flash card. Other settings will point to other types of devices. Now let's start backing up some stuff. Place your machines in edit mode. For sending or receiving programs, you must be in edit mode. The first thing I want to back up will be the CNC parameters. This is done by pressing the system hard key until the parameter screen appears. Now I want to do some type of operation on this screen, so I press the OPRT button. This stands for operation. This will bring up a second set of soft keys. The soft key labeled F output stands for file output. In older machines, this was called punch. If you wanted to save data, you would punch holes in a tape. When I press the F output button, it will send the parameters to the flashcard as a text file. Depending upon the configuration settings, you may be asked to press an execute button. You will notice that it will flash output as the file is being transferred. Once the file has completed the transfer, this will go off. You have now saved the parameters. Now that we have the CNC parameters backed up, let's take a look at the PMC side. There are a couple of items that we will need to grab. We're going to start with the ladder and the PMC parameters. Start by pressing the system hard key. Now press the continue button several times until PMC maintenance is displayed. Press the PMC maintenance key. If need be, press the continue button until I.O. is displayed. Do not confuse this with I.O. device. As a side note, on older model controls, it was necessary to turn on system keep relay K17 bit 1 in order to see the I.O. soft key. Now press the I.O. soft key. This will bring up a menu that will allow you to save the PMC data. If your machine is running multiple ladder logic programs, you will see them listed on the top of this page. If this is the case, you will need to back up the ladder and PMC parameters for each. In this case, my machine is running two ladders. Make sure that your cursor is on the first PMC. Using the arrow keys, navigate down to Device. There are multiple devices that can be used. In our case, we want to ensure that we're set to Memory Card, so I will use the arrow key to navigate to Memory Card. Next step is to go down to Function. Under Function, the one that you will use most often is Read or Write. The easy way to remember which one does which is to think of it from the machine's perspective. Is the machine writing a letter? or is the machine reading a letter? Is the machine sending out information or is it reading in information? What we want to do is to save a file, so we will select write. The next step is to go down to kind of data. On a FANUC control, the sequence program 
is considered the ladder logic. So we'll make sure that we're set to sequence program. Next, we will assign a file name. You can assign any file name that you wish to. For instance, I can type in 123 and simply hit the input button on the MDI keypad and the file will be called 123. There are some other buttons that may make things a little confusing for you. For instance, the new name soft key. If you press the new name key, it will default to a standard setting for the file name. Typing in a different name, such as 456, and pressing the input key again will give you the new name. Note that the field is highlighted in yellow while doing this. The other key is called input mode. When you press this key, you'll notice in the upper right hand corner that it will switch back and forth. You have insert, alter to change the name, or back to normal entry. Okay, let's enter PMC1 and we're going to call that our file name for ladder logic number one. Press the execute key and you'll notice that the numbers will begin to count up here. Once it's completed the backup, the executing will change to completed. The next step is to back up the PMC parameters. This will include things such as timers, counters, keep relays, and data registers. This is done by changing the kind of data. So we'll arrow up to kind of data and go over to parameters. Now in this case we will have to give it a different file name. So under here I'll call it simply PMC PAR1 and enter that as my file name. I will then be able to hit the execute button and once again it's counting up and when executing changes to completed then I have finished the backup. Some machine tool builders will have a separate file for the PMC messages. In this case simply select message and give it a unique name. Pressing input will change the name. I can then hit the execute key. If you get a warning message such as displayed here, then that means that your messages are incorporated into the ladder logic program itself. You don't need to worry about backing this particular file up. One additional file that can be backed up though is your I.O. configuration screen, which is located here. Once again, we'll give it a unique name such as I.O. 1 and be able to hit the execute button. This will then back up the I.O. configuration. If your machine is running multiple ladder programs as noted on the first line then it will be necessary to back up the sequence program and the parameters for both sets of ladders. Well that was a lot of fun. Please keep in mind that this is just one way to make a backup of a machine's memory. There are a wide number of variations between control types. In my next session, we'll be looking at backing up the part programs, offsets, and macros. We will also look at using the All Data Backup option, along with the SRAM backup. I offer training on many topics related to CNC troubleshooting. If you're interested in online or in-person training, just call the number on the screen. Thank you for your time.